In today's tutorial, we'll cover how to enable the onboarding portal in the external user manager app. Start by launching the app and heading to the settings tab. Within the onboarding section, select general settings. Activate the onboarding portal using the toggle switch. To ensure the external user manager can email external users, you need to choose a delivery method. Entering a service account in the designated field is recommended. Be cautious with using Exchange for emailing, as your tenant settings and mail server reputation might affect delivery success. Alternatively, opt for the external user manager's mailing option, which sends messages from invitesexternalusermanager.com. Customize the onboarding experience by inputting your company's name and uploading your logo. To skip the default welcome graphic, turn off the Enable Intro Screen option. Decide if you want to display profile images. Next, define the metadata fields to be filled by external users. You can include text fields, calendars, drop-down menus and checkboxes. To rearrange meta fields, select Rearrange meta fields and adjust their order via drag and drop. You're also able to require users to upload media or sign documents. This can include PDFs, HTML pages or video links. For each document, assign a name, choose whether viewing all pages or signing is mandatory and upload it through drag and drop or file explorer. Once set up, any new or accepted external user request triggers an email invitation to start the onboarding process. Enterprise app version owners can further customize the onboarding portal's design, either by uploading a CSS file or manually adjusting colors and text elements. For more insights on leveraging the external user manager to benefit your organization, consider booking a free demo on our website.